guys, what's up? Welcome back. I have another haul for you guys today, and today I'm giving Rev Dolls another chance. Now, if you saw the last time I hauled Rev Dolls, it was kind of hit, hit or miss, and I was really left feeling a little more frustrated than anything, but they got a bunch of new spring stuff in, and spring as in summer, as you guys know, is my jam, is my vibes, obviously, as by today's outfit. We have this little gypsy top and these little booty shorts that I'm wearing, so I'm definitely like ready for spring and summer, even though it's still cold. I really shouldn't be wearing this. I have, I'm just, I'm so, so ready. So when I saw all the new spring colors and patterns, I thought, you know what, let's just give it a shot. I know you guys are gonna ask where this top is from, and it is from a company called Shopo, and I'm going to review them and haul them, but I'm waiting on a few more pieces to come in um, so I can do like a more complete haul. So in the meantime, I'm kind of wear testing, and so far, so, so good. So anyway, let's get into Reb Dolls. So Reb Dolls, if you don't know, is kind of really known for being an affordable, kind of trend clothing site. They have a lot of stuff made out of like stretch jersey, a lot of stuff made out of cotton at a really decent price point. Um, so it's not stuff that you keep forever or anything, but it's definitely stuff that you'll wear for a season and then kind of cycle through. So just so you know, and if you're looking for something cute and body conny and a little woman of the night, you'll probably find it at Rub Dolls. Um, but the first dress that I have to show you is neither body con nor woman of the nighty. Um, it is a Hawaiian style print fit and flare skater dress, so super cute. So what drew me in about this was the color pattern. Um, when I saw it online, and I can even kind of see in camera, you can't really see that there's like a floral print kind of overlay. And when I got it, I was a little disappointed by that because I thought it kind of cheapened the whole look. I thought it kind of looked more watercolory, but it's still really, really cute. I do really like it, I like the length. My favorite thing about it actually is the, um, and I've talked about this before in other videos, I like a, a front and back um, seam that matches, so I love that the front and the back have the same kind of V style, so it goes low in the back and low in the front, but not too low. It's got some really great waist definition and it's not too short, so that my tall babes will feel comfortable in it, and if you don't want to have your tush hanging out or you like a little more um, coverage in the legs, you're really, really gonna like this one. Now, before I get too deep into this, I do wanna say that Reb Doll sells out exceptionally quickly of everything, and they very, very rarely restock, so I filmed this as soon as I got everything, you guys, um, but it may be sold out by the time this video up. That being said, still go through the site, still go see if there's other things that you may like. Um, this is just kind of their vibe, and so you're more than likely going to find things that really look like a lot of this stuff. So don't be too worried if what you like so is sold out. Just keep digging around and you'll find something that you'll like. Okay, the next item I have, um, I love the style of it. I wasn't super thrilled with the vibrance of the print. Um, so it is a maxi dress, and it's really hard to look because it's a weird maxi dress. It's like a wrap maxi maxi dress. So it's kind of open in the back and then it has this tie here and this tie as well. So these two ties, you kind of throw it around your back and then wrap these two up around your neck to create a halter, which I am lost in. Hang on, hang on. Just a second. Just, just a second. Okay, so you wrap the dress around your body and then you take these two and you kind of tie them like this and then you use the fabric to cover yourself and then you use the waist ties to cinch it closed. So it's really pretty, it's a nice lightweight um, but still a little heavy jersey fabric. The only thing that I don't like about it, like I mentioned, is the vibrancy of the print. Um, I really hoped it would be more of a brighter color and it's very muted. It almost looks like this would be the inside of the print and the other side would be brighter but it's just not. So it's a little fake it out which I'm not super crazy about I thought this would have been this is so really pretty and I think if you're Caucasian it's gonna look really nice on you but I would have liked a brighter color for my babes of color because it's so pretty on dark skin when you have like a really vibrant orange and very vibrant peach but it's still a really really pretty dress and it's really fun to wear I do like all the ways you can tie it um, and again the print is something that I'm super into because I am feeling these boho vibes these days and um, that print is just kind of something I'm gravitating toward lately, so I really did like that one a lot. Okay, next up is another maxi dress. I am loving this color lately, you guys. I cannot get enough. Um, now, this was a very inexpensive maxi dress, and you can you can kind of tell it kind of does look a little cheap, um, but this color kind of suckered me in. It's so, so pretty. So it's just a very, very simple beachy maxi dress. It's thin fabric that you can kind of see through, waist defined, and then a flowy skirt with a slit in it. So it is a basic, but if you're someone that likes 
basics or you don't really like to wear a lot of patterns or anything, this is something that you're gonna wear throughout the summer, um, you know, all season long. You're gonna wear it over your swim, you're gonna wear it out to dinner, you're gonna wear it, you know, walking the kids or whatever, um, or walking your dog even. You know, just something that you wanna just hang out in. It's really, really easy to wear. Another thing is too, is if you, okay, well we all know that there's a certain time of the month where we don't wanna wear body cons, we're always looking for like flowy things that still look really cute. Um, I think if you're on a budget and you want something to wear that's, you know, gonna flow away from the body but you're still gonna look really pretty, this is gonna be a really good option for you. So. Definitely check this out if it's something that you're into. It's not a bad price for the quality um, And again, just really really easy to wear. Okay, we are moving right along through this haul you guys like this is just We are just going we're just getting it done. So I'm filming I'm going into town again And so I'm filming um, a bunch of hauls before I go so you guys have to watch while I'm gone um, And so I apparently I'm just kind of in the keep the train moving kind of mode So um, the next dress I have to show for you is a max um, there's only one little thing I don't like about it and it's negligible I think kind of um, so it is an off-the-shoulder ruffly bit waist defined maxi it does have a slit in it right here so you get a little bit of thigh action the only thing I don't like about it and it's kind of nitpicky a little bit um, is I don't like the color of this stripe right here am I pointing at the right one yeah, this kind of like grayish green situation. I just, I don't like it. I don't know why, but it just, I don't know. I just feel like it kind of takes away from the, the color combinations and kind of the vibe that they had. This was such a cute dress. Um, it's made of a rib knit fabric, so it is very stretchy. I'm wearing it in a 1X. Um, and if you're new here, by the way, I do list all of my normal sizes and then also the sizes that I ordered stuff in in the haul so that you can kind of see what I got and how it fit versus what I would normally wear. So I got this in a 1X because I thought, you know, maybe, maybe it'll be flowy, and it was. So it worked out really nicely. Um, I don't think that one color stripe is enough to keep me from wearing it, but um, um, it is, is kind of a bummer if we're you know for being nitpicky. Um, so I'm like 90% happy with this. I do really like the fit and I like um, how it sits and I really like this like off the shoulder situation um, and the ruffle is so it's really pretty. Two things left. Um, now the next item you need a good pair of spangs for because it is thin and it is tight and it is if you're if you're white it's kind of flesh toned. Um, it's really it's really pretty. It's really pretty. It's just it's just thin and, and as these kind of body con dresses are, they tend to show everything. So get yourself a good pair of spanks if you want to. If you don't, don't. That's fine too. Um, but I do really like it. So it is a nudie pink um, body con. It's kind of a midi, so it goes all the way down to your calf. Great detailing here at the bust line. We have a nice little lace up, but it's a different lace up with a thicker um, rope and so I feel like it actually almost looks a little more girly than it does more edgy I think it's just more pretty than uh, fierce I guess is what I'm trying to say um, I also really do like how the arm is cut so it kind of instead of going up from here it kind of comes in and gives you a closer um, a closer vibe so yeah it is a very cute it's I got it in a 2x and so the top part is a little big on me that's pretty standard, um, but I do I do really like it. I like anything in this color, honestly. I, this like kind of like naked on me color it just always really really speaks to me. Really really pretty and just goes with everything. It's going to be great to wear to summer parties. This last set that I have to show you, I hope 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 they still have this in stock because I know you guys are going to go bananas for it and. Um, I really hope that you can get it, but if they are sold out, I really hope, like Reb Dolls, if you're watching, please make this set again in another print, in the same print. It's just so, so cute. Um, normally, this is not the color combination that I go for ever, and maybe it's my boho vibes that I'm feeling lately that got me in, but I couldn't resist. So it is a two-piece set, um, a mini skirt and a crop top. Look at this print, you guys. How pretty is this? So it's green and brown, so two colors that I don't typically go for and certainly not brown, but I really love how this looks. So super cute, super tight, and then the top is an off-the-shoulder long sleeve crop top. Now, it does go down to the waistband of the skirt if you 
you did not want to show your midriff, I like to show just a little bit of skin. Um, so I did like kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, and then I just tucked the straps on my bra into kind of here. Um, so yeah, so this is it. I love how it fits. I love how it feels. It's so, just so, so great. Um, so I'm going to Hawaii with husband in a couple of weeks. And this is definitely something I'm going to be bringing with me because I can just imagine wearing this to dinner with some like nude kind of lace up heels and a little, my little Gucci bag would be just darling with it. Um, so yeah, just, I'm so obsessed with this set. I didn't expect to be so obsessed with it and it just, I cannot stop. Like I just, I love, love, love. I've worn it around the house three times so far and I got it yesterday. I'm just so in love with it. I can't, you guys. So good. Okay guys, so that is it for me and this Reb Dolls haul. I would love to know what you think and what you thought of any of the pieces that I tried on. Have you tried Reb Dolls yet? Are you a frequent customer? Are you considering trying them out? I would love to know, so let me know down in the comments. And of course, don't forget to tell me what your favorite thing was that I tried on. And a quick note about that last top and also kind of tops. You guys are always asking me what the best strapless bra is for plus size for lift. They don't exist, you guys. They basically don't exist. Like a plus size strapless bra is basically like a bandeau to cover like your your nipples, like basically. So there's not anything that's gonna defy gravity. You know what I mean? So I'm really sorry to like break it to everybody and I will I have to break it to you guys a million times probably over the summer as we get into more of this kind of vibe. So just um, a little tip is when you're wearing a shirt like this, you can just take the straps and just tuck them in and that way you'll still get the support um, and you'll still get, you know, you're, it's gonna be a little comfortable. It's not gonna be great, but it, you know, Unfortunately, when you have a bigger chest, there's not a whole lot you can do. So I know that sucks, but it is reality and we're all dealing with it together. So at least we're all dealing with it together, right? That's, at least there's that. At least we're all in this swing low sweet chariot situation together. <laughs> okay guys, so don't forget to give me a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video. I love you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Take care. So if you liked this haul and you're on a budget, here are two more hauls that you can check out. They are right here. So you can go click on these and you can keep watching or you can just let it play. They're playlists too, so you can just kind of let them go and you can binge watch and get all kinds of shopping ideas to get ready for summer and spring. And you know, I'm the queen of hauls, so there will be more very, very soon.